to question number 2 dr niranjana a resident individual age 60 years is running a clinic her income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st of march 2018 is as under now let's examine her income side she received 58 lakhs 85850 rupees as by way of consultation and medical charges then she received 5450 rupees by way of income tax refund which includes an interest of 450 then she received dividends from units of uti amounting to rupees 10500 she also won a game show on tv and received 35000 which is net of tds of rupees 15000 she also received a rent of 27000 during the year which means that her total income was 59 lakh 63800 now let's move on to the expenditure side she consumed medicines amounting to rupees 35000 35 lakhs 38400 she paid salary to the staff amounting to 13 lakh 80000 then she spent some money on clinic consumables amounting to 1 lakh 10000 she paid a rent of 90000 now her administrative expenses for the year were 2 lakh 55000 she also paid to a scientific research association which is approved under section 35 amounting to 1 lakh 50000 so her net profit was 4 lakh 40400 so further in the question it is given uh, that uh, she paid a rent or the rent paid includes rupees 30000 paid by check towards rent for her residential house in surat second clinic equipments are on 1st of april 2017 opening wdv or written down value was 5 lakhs and on 7th of december 2017 she acquired uh, by check 2 lakh rupees and she paid for acquiring clinic equipments then she received rent relating to property situated at surat gross annual value rupees 27000 the municipal tax of rupees 2000 paid in december 2017 has been included in the administrative expenses so further in the question it is given that she received a salary of rupees 7500 per month from full care hospital which has not been included in the consultation and medical charges then dr niranjana availed a loan of rupees 5 lakh 50000 from a bank for her education of her daughter she repaid principal of rupees 1 lakh and interest thereon rupees 55000 during the year 2017-18 further she paid rupees 1 lakh as tuition fee not in the nature of development fee or donation to the university for the full time education of her daughter last an amount of rupees 28000 has also been paid by check on 27th march 2018 for her medical insurance premium now from the above compute the total income of dr shrimati niranjana for the assessment year 2018-19 now uh, let us compute the total income and tax liability of dr niranjana for the assessment year 2018-19 now let's first calculate the income from salary now in the question it is given that she has received salary from full care hospital and it is not been included in the income and expenditure account so she has received a salary of 7500 for the whole year it will be 90000 so that is the income from income from salary let's move on to income from house property now uh, it is given in the income and expenditure account that she has received 27000 as rent so this we have taken as a gross annual value and uh, will reduce the municipal taxes paid which is amounting to 2000 now in the question it has been given 
that uh, 2000 was paid in December 2017 and has been included in the administrative expenses. So the net annual value will be 27,000 minus 2000 which will be 25,000. Now she will be entitled for a deduction, a standard deduction under section 24 at the rate of 30% of rupees 25,000 uh, 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 of 35,000. So that works out to 7,500. So the, uh, the the value would be income from house property will come to 17,500. So now let's move on to income from profession. Now net profit as per the income and expenditure account is given as 4,40,400. Now we will be reducing items which are to be treated separately. Now she has received rent of 27,000 which we, has, we have included in the income from house property. So we are going to reduce it from the net profit. Now dividend from un units of UTIs uh, 10,500 will be reducing. Then winning from game show on TV, which is net of TDS, 35,000. So which will be uh, reducing from the net profit. And then she ha he has she has got income tax refund uh, amounting to 5,450. So this will also be reduced. So all this will amount to 77,950. So our income at this stage will be 3,62,450 rupees. Now, some expenses will be allowed to her, that is depreciation on clinics equipments. Uh, on the opening balance of 5 lakhs, she will be entitled for 15% depreciation, annual depreciation, so that works out to 75,000. On 2 lakh rupees, uh, which she has spent during the year, she has acquired equipments during the year uh, in December 2017, so she is entitled for a depreciation at the rate of 50% of the normal depreciation since the same are put to use for less than 180 days during the year. So then she will be allowed for additional deduction of 50% for the amount which she has paid for scientific research association since the weighted deduction of 150% is available in respect of such payments. So she will be entitled for another reduction of 75,000 on that. So altogether these deductions will amount to 1,65,000. So her income will be now 1 lakh. 97,450. So uh, there are certain items of expenditure which are not allowable while computing the business income like rent for her residential accommodation included in income and expenditure account. So that will be reduced uh, that is 30,000. Then she has paid municipal taxes in relating to a residential house at Surat which has been included in the administrative expenses. So that 2000 will be also reduced. So altogether 32,000 uh, expenditure will not be allowed. So her income from business will be or profession will be 2,29,450. Then we move to income from other sources. Now she has got interest on income tax refund, uh, which is 450. Of course, she has received 5,450, but uh, 5,000 is a principal amount. So that we are not going to consider here only the income part will be taken to income from other sources that is rupees 450. Then she has received dividend from UTI and we know they are exempt under section 10 subsection 35. So uh, 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 that will be there will be nil income on account of uh, dividend from UTI. Then she has received winning from the game show uh, 35,000 is the net. So we add up and show the gross amount. Uh, and it will come to 50,000. So that is 35,000 plus 15,000. So altogether, uh, income from other sources will be 50,450, which is uh, 450 rupees as interest and then 50,000 winning from game, sh game show. So her to grand total income will be 387,400. Then she will be allowed deduction under chapter 6A. So first deduction will be ATC. She has paid a tuition fee which she has paid to university for full time education of her daughter. Now in the question it has been given that she has paid 1 lakh as tuition fee uh, to the university for full time education of her daughter. So this amount will be taken as under uh, section ATC and we know that deduction up to 1 lakh 50 thousand is allowed. So whole of 1 lakh will be allowed as deduction here. Then we move to section 80D. Now, medical insurance premium will be fully allowed. 
since she is a senior citizen. So it was paid by check on 27th of March 2018. So that will be allowed uh, fully, which is 28,000. Now, under section 80E, she will be entitled for a 55,000 deduction as she has availed a loan of 5,50,000 from a bank for higher education of her daughter and she has paid a principal of 1 lakh and interest thereon was 55,000 during the year 2017-18. So that whole amount will be allowed as deduction under section 80E. So which means her total income will now be 2 lakh uh, 4,400. Now we know that Dr. Niranjana is staying in a rented premise in Surat itself. She will not be eligible for a deduction under section 80GG as she owns a house in Suraj which she has let out 